This is the Transformers Shattered Glass Commander Class Jetfire. I picked up this figure, this amazing figure, from Cal L Collectibles. I actually picked it up, picked it up for a decent price. Uh, it was they were selling it for a little over a hundred dollars. That might seem steep for you, but here in Manila, the rest of the hobby shops were selling this figure for a hundred and thirty dollars. Can you believe it? So kal had the best price for it. So I waited till they get they got stocks. And um, I was lucky to get the last piece. Oh my goodness. So happy. Th big thanks again to kal Collectibles for this amazing figure. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Shattered Glass Jetfire out of packaging. And oh my goodness, the figure turned out great. I think way more than how I expected him to turn out. I mean, the colors came out great. The plastic feels premium even though it kind of feels and looks cheap at times when you when you start playing with it it really feels very premium it feels like a solid heavy transformer and when you look at it i tried comparing it with the original jetfire siege jetfire the plastic on this one at least for the body for the robot parts they kind of feel uh harder they, they kind of feel a little bit more sturdy they feel just basically more premium than the first version than the white plastic they used for siege jetfire the weapons on the other hand they kind of feel a little light and cheap compared to the original version but we'll talk about the comparisons later let's just enjoy this figure for the time being it is amazing the black and purple combination uh, for this figure just makes the figure pop. I thought it was going to be a dull figure because of all this black that they use with very little amounts of silver, but it just came out great. I love the gunmetal uh, gray highlights. You get the faction symbol right here. And he comes with every single accessory that the original Jetfire had. And I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking how it, it, it turned out. And then here is the Jetfire uh, in plain, plain mode. I mean, he's basic robot mode, and it came out amazing. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, this is probably the my favorite part of, of the figure. I mean, look how amazing that turned out. Let me give you a close-up look on that. Wow. He looks great. Like a mean-looking evil jet fire the gimmick on his chest still works i mean if you wanted it to turn him into a heroic decepticon you could okay so here are both jet fires uh, together you can clearly see the difference other than the paint apps the sculpts are entirely the same even the molding on the plastic of the accessories they're, they're entirely the same mold it's just a difference in color uh, let's start with the blast effects molded in different uh, colored plastic translucent plastic this one's really a nice electric blue this one's some nice orange i like this one look how nice that it's bordering on a transparent translucent uh, blue plastic i like that the chest accessory does house the uh the battle helmet i think the paint came out better with this one it's a lot neater this one there's a lot of splotching of the white paint if you notice the paint apps on the siege jetfire look at that tons of splotching on the white paint apps this one's a lot cleaner the silver uh just really nicely being painted on that black plastic or i should say the translucent transparent green plastic even the faction symbols i love the glossy finish of the purple uh, on this new version this one the red is just very flat okay and then the guns again more paint on the siege on the uh, shattered glass version with the purple and the, the black plastic they use, this one's a little bit, it feels a little bit lighter. This one's curious, the, uh, the wing blasters. They look identical, but this one's a darker type of plastic. This one's a little bit lighter in shade. I, I'm glad they changed that and they did just repack the old guns. So even with the, the double blasters, different. Now, given the fact that this is really a premium, more expensive, uh, exclusive figure, I was kind of hoping that Hasbro would give us more than just recolors and repaint. I was kind of hoping we'd get an additional gun, 
maybe more blast effects or maybe a different head sculpt but they did the way of the shattered glass optimus prime and ratchet and just giving us the same exact figure with a different color however with that being said i kind of noticed something about the head sculpt i don't know if it's just me it could just be an optical illusion but let me show you what i'm saying what i'm talking about for some reason the head sculpt on this one just looks a little bit more devious I know it's probably just my imagination, but this one, he looks a little bit more benign. He looks a little bit more at peace with himself. This one, it feels like he's he's smirking, like a Megatron smirk. I don't know. His eyes look a little bit more evil. I don't know if it's just the paint, but I want to believe that they kind of changed the sculpt of the mouth and the eyes on this one to make him a little bit more evil. And that for this one, they kept him just a little bit like, you know, poker face, scientific very relaxed. I don't know, you you, you tell me, you, be, you guys be the judge. So just before we end this comparison, I wanted to mention that he still does come with that, uh, that uh, the piece, he comes with that engine that fits in his cockpit, put it right there. It's the same one, same molded one, just painted differently. Well, transformation, exactly the same as the original Siege Jetfire, but we'll go through the motion. Let's start with the feet. You know what? Um, if you're wondering about mold degradation, there is some slight mold degradation. And you can see some looseness here, a little bit of looseness here. But I will say this, uh, the mold degradation, the slight mold degradation allows for better transformation somehow uh, it's not as annoying it's not as tedious or difficult i mean the the, the it's still a involved procedure it's still an involved process but the the tightness of the joints uh, the tightness of the combination of the pieces is not as pronounced uh, with this figure and i guess it's got to do with that mold degradation so i don't know uh, could just be a quality issue on my figure I could have just gotten a loose copy. I don't know, but um, I transformed him once before this review and it went well. I didn't have a lot of problems with it. Not complaining too much, uh, uh, particularly the legs. I mean, you see how it's transformed. It's not as difficult as when I tried to do the Siege Jetfire. So going on to the arms. Okay, pull this out, pull this back in out back in that and then compress press okay uh, detach and then open up this okay head goes in the backpack okay nose cone okay and then the arms And these panels right here. Fold like that. Fold. I mean, they haven't resolved this issue. I mean, it's still a pain to just tab those things right there. Okay. I'm gonna move the wings. Okay. Wings are still tight though. side okay still has the landing gear even the landing gear uh, a lot easier to deploy uh, compared to the siege uh, version i remember there was a time from the generations or the henke line that they did release a black version of jet i can't remember the name of that how they called that figure dark jet fire or something like that it was dark jet fire or shadow jet fire or something like that and that worked out well and you can peg that entire assembly right there as a tank turret on a jet i mean how cool is that right and then the blue blast effects i kind of like these blue uh translucent blast effects more than the orange ones i don't know i know they're the orange ones are probably more accurate to thruster effects, but this one, I do like it better. 
Ooh, look at that. Very, very nice. Just loving it. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm, I actually kind of like this version better than the white version. Some final thoughts on Shattered Glass Jetfire. I think it's a great figure. I think it's a welcome addition to your Shattered Glass collection. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. I, I loved it as much as the Siege Jetfire figure. Now, if you were wondering if this figure can replace or be a substitute for the Siege Jetfire, unfortunately, it's not. If you are looking to get a, a heroic Autobot Jetfire figure in the Generations line that's scale accurate and just a great all-around Jetfire figure as an Autobot, as a heroic Autobot, you've got to track down the Siege Jetfire. And I don't think this Shattered Glass figure will replace that or can be a stand-in. Having said that, if you are a big fan of the Shattered Glass continuity, you read up in the comic books, you love the convention exclusives and all that, and you want a more modern look to your Shattered Glass collection, then the, this Shattered Glass Jetfire is for you. I can only recommend this figure to the Shattered Glass enthusiasts and collectors. If you're not into the Shattered Glass continuity, then this figure is not for you. I think Hasbro and Takara Tomy did a wonderful job with the recolor, and I really liked it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this Shattered Glass Jetfire. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.